but yeah, good first day so far. spoken with you but it is one o'clock so far today we have taken a walk to breakfast we ate outside at coastal cravings got a big outdoor area i wish i had gotten a little video but i had a little caterpillar friend on my shirt he was the cutest little thing we brought him over to a leaf and watched him crawl up the string to the leaf to have his own little breakfast but then we came home and our grocery order got here, so we put that away and we've just been starting our big thousand piece puzzle. We almost finished the border, but we're gonna have to go through all the pieces again to find what we're missing. But we're trying to sneak in a walk before all the chances of rain come. Uh, it does seem like it's lowered down and the biggest chance will be at eight o'clock, but there is a slight chance starting in a couple hours, but I think we should be good right now. And it feels gorgeous. It is, I don't know, like 70 something, but that always feels warmer here. The sun is very warm here. And yeah, can't wait to see the sound and walk with my boy. That will be a really nice, pretty walk. shopping center is in Duck. And where are we going? We are going to the shoe store coffee shop. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear us very well, but there is a shoe store that actually has a little coffee shop in the back. And they make delicious chais and their iced coffee is on point. But what do you like the best? Um, they have like these good banana smoothies. So we are going to stop there. Yeah, what is it called? They always have a t-shirt. The Nags Head Shop is what it's called. So we are almost there. It's right there. So we always go here a few times actually. It's a favorite spot to stop. Obvious for that. Yeah, for me, I'm like, I do not charge for pictures. We just took a lovely walk. It got quite hot, so everybody's heading out to the pool. We don't know how long we have till it rains, but as 
see, so we stopped at one of my favorite little farm stands. I don't know if I've seen the same person there. Maybe I have or haven't, but if you ever are in Doug, it's Tomato Shack. He is so sweet. I grabbed some mandarins because I was looking for those on the grocery order and didn't find them. But also, he makes all his own pickles with his wife. This one is named after his six-year-old, Brianna. So I got some of Brianna's kind of a big deal pickles for everybody who likes pickles in the house. And yeah, I'm gonna make myself a salad. I might put my swimsuit on and head down as well to the pool. Cause I don't know how long we have. This is open. Oh, it's so nice out. I don't know if they have floaties blown up yet, but they're such cool looking nice. I'm glad we got that walk in before any sort of rain. Who knows? I mean, it could hold off and then we just get some after dinner. Never know. But yeah, good first day so far. to get some sun because I am so pale unless you see my feet which have a permanent tan because <laughs> I live in those shoes so I'm gonna put my clothes back on and go from under, my, under my blanket and do some knitting. person I usually I would take baths like multiple times per week while pregnant like every night <laughs> unless Jesus is me of a water bill but our bathroom is like falling apart there's like a crack in the tub that makes me nervous and weird city marks that never come off so I've been unmotivated to actually use it but we have a bubble bath here so brought some bubble baths I ordered for myself like solid bubble bath and just enjoyed one it was really weird but nice so I just drained out some of the hot water and put some cool water in so oh. a little friend is now in the tub <laughs> careful it's deeper and yeah just gonna close out our day I've been doing puzzle I made good progress we have two puzzles with us, and there's a bunch of puzzles here, so I think we should be set. We have three puzzles, two additional puzzles. Uh, I have to work tonight. 
I mean, I know I was available, but I feel like it's gonna be longer than the hour that I wanted to limit it to, and I'm just not looking forward to it. I mean, it's work on vacation, but it is what it is. I'm a freelancer, and I have to be available when the work is due, so that's just how it is. I need to see if I can turn this fan on up. It's just really stuffy and hot in here. But it was so loud and clicky. So I don't know if that'll make it worse. Yeah. Um, it was a good day. It rained less during the day than we expected, but right around four is when a storm came in and we had a thunderstorm that went on and off for a while till about dinner time. We made spaghetti. My husband made it. It was one of the we're not gonna order out and we don't know where we're gonna eat meals. The other one we have is they order, they bought meat from the butcher. I have tofu and we'll just cook meals that way. But other than that, we're gonna try to support the local businesses and eat some local food. Um, I don't think we're gonna do any breakfast out for a couple days. Tuesday and Wednesday, Duck Donuts is closed. I know that we have Duck Donuts in Northern Virginia now, but we just always go to Duck, Duck Donuts. <laughs> Cause it's just, that's Duck Donuts. But yeah, we always get them once and it's not going to be, well sometimes twice, sometimes we get them on the way out of town. But it's not gonna be tomorrow and it's not gonna be Wednesday. <laughs> so I did order like cinnamon rolls and we have eggs and bacon. So we should be all set at English muffins. And there's a bagel shop that you have to drive out to crawl up for, but mm, so good. So much everything bagels are life. And Yvonne's threatening to order like two dozen so much everything. Usually there's like one left when we go there. And they're always so sweet and they'll like give it to me. <laughs> so I feel bad. Hopefully you can get his two dozen dreams so much everything. I don't really have any bath toys. I'm sorry. It's so hard to pack tons and tons of stuff, you know? You can get out. No. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't have anything. Well, I don't have anything else. Anyway, I'm just babbling on. No plans. We just chill. I mean, it is pandemic. It's early in the season, like the season hasn't truly started here. We always go off season and we will until the kids are in public school. So I guess I have one more year of our May vacation here on my husband's birthday. And during the pandemic, we, we did a fall trip here too since we couldn't go to California. I think we're not going to go to California until 2022. And kids, the kids are vaccinated. So yeah, we just don't really make plans. It's just easy going. We never know what the weather's gonna be like. There's a chance of rain every single day. But I think tomorrow's gonna be nice longer. The pool is freezing, we're supposed to have pool heat, but I just can't find it. And the water was freezing cold. Poor Jax could not deal, and he can usually deal with it a lot colder than me. Anyway, we've been making this do with this room, but the shower is a no-go. It is the smallest shower ever. Let me see if I can show you. It's also really dark. I'm gonna try to show everybody how small the shower is. Let me figure out the light. Oh, I think I got it. It's just bubble bath, like solid bubble bath from the bubble scoop. So here is the shower. It is so small that you cannot escape the water. The water is on you at all times. So trying to shave your legs is interesting because instantly everything's washed off you. And you cannot escape it. <laughs> we are considering going to the bathroom across the hall. That bedroom is bathroom. It's not that great. I mean, it's just a little pedestal sink. The room is about the same size. And the shower is like at least two thirds larger. <laughs> it's it's 
it's bigger. It's not double, but it's almost double. Oh yeah, they look good. <laughs> so yeah, but we got, I have clothes in that drawer. One of the bathroom drawers, I sanitized them all. Sebastian has the bottom two drawers. I'm guessing my husband's clothes are now in his bedside table because they're not in his packing bag anymore. And then as I showed you, most of my clothes are hanging up. Ziggy did not want to go in the crate last night because she was like, what? This, what is this closet business? He didn't understand. And so my husband just gave up and I went and got a treat and he followed me to the crate. Then I had to give him a little push in. When we went to breakfast, he did go in for a street to me pushing. So he understands now that he's had a night in there that I'm not gonna close the closet door on him. Everything's okay. You could see us from the floor. I mean, maybe not too well because the bed's really high and he's really low. I couldn't see him unless I set up, but he knew we were there. He could see us if we left, so I think he's cool with his poor little closet room. But I mean, there's no way we could put it. This crate is almost as wide as that and there'd only be about a foot of space if we put him here and we wouldn't be able to put him against here because this would get all hairy. It'd be against here and we'd be like shuffling along here trying to get to the bed. This chair was not here. This is a spare dining room chair, but I like to have a spot to dump my bags. Yeah. Oh, it's being important to say that's why I'm just saying really stupid stuff. So I am going to get everything ready for bed and get ready for working and yeah, he needs me, so good night, stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.